Good morning, it's Barbara. It's supposed to go up to 72 degrees today. Right now it's 43. The sun's trying to break through those clouds. I hope the weather guy's right. That would be so nice. Good morning, it's Barbara. I'm quite sunny today. <laughs> the sun just broke through. How fun my hair. I the top of my head is right where my timer thing is, so I'm not sure how it looks. There we go. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for coffee. <sighs> so I'm up a little earlier than normal. Not sad about that. I slept okay. Yeah. Excuse me while I fix my hair, though. <laughs> Yesterday, oh, I got. I'm wearing mohair at the bottom of my sweater. This is my material girl, and it's got this little patch of mohair at the bottom. <laughs> I'm blaming that. Mm. But I'm wearing this because it's supposed to be 72 degrees today. It is not yet, but I am not giving up hope. It's yours. Our plan is for us to have our wine on the deck tonight. <laughs> I worked on my... Yesterday was very pr productive. Started out very frustrating. Well, started out with me talking to you, which was very nice because I was feeling better. And then my editing software made me crazy. It took... Uh, I spent a half an hour or more trying to get a little video clip into yesterday's video. You didn't see it because I couldn't do it. I finally gave up. I was so frustrated. So that started, made my morning very, very frustrated. However, our trip to the Subaru dealer was very nice, very short, and they made us a very fair offer for Aura's car, made her a very fair offer for her car, and we're delivering the car today. Yay! And getting a check. Yay! And then we, you know, then we have stuff we have to do, call the insurance company, cancel insurance and things like that. But yeah, that worked out really well. Worked out very, very well. And that'll be nice to have that out of the driveway and out of her bank account and into her bank account. That felt like that was a big, big move forward in the eventual complete move of her to come over here yeah we're also going over to her house today to meet with her handyman who's done some work for her and so it's going to be a busy aura stuff day i guess i think we're going to pick up her logs i've told you about her logs before not recently so maybe you don't remember and some of you are new and for those who are very new aura is my mother-in-law and she moved in with us in october <laughs> so So we're still working on that. <laughs> but all through the years, I mean, she has decades and decades of what she calls her logs, which were sort of a diary, but just a diary of events and facts. You know, she didn't go on and on about her emotions and things like that. But if you wanted to know how much she paid for the bed and breakfast she stayed in in Grindelwald, in 1987, she could tell you. She could tell you what they ate for dinner and how much it cost. She could tell you when it snowed in, you know, 1985. That kind of thing. I mean, you know, it snowed, the repair guy came, the this, the that. It's, you know, so she, last year she didn't keep a log. When she was by herself, she lived alone all of last year. Garland died in November of 2020, and so she lived by herself, and she did not write in her log at all. 2022 log was completely empty. She has this kind of, it's kind of really an appointment book, and I guess she signed up for these appointment books years ago, and they just, she just keeps getting them every year, and um, that's what she uses for her logs. Her 2022 was completely empty. But 
I'm encouraging her to fill out her 2023. So she does, you know, sporadically. She misses days, but. But she wrote in her log. We have an offer on the car that we're taking. That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pick up her logs from yesteryears. And I'm sure we're going to be going through, you know, going, reminiscing through all kinds of things. Now, once we get her logs over here and she will be going through and reliving her glory days. But she'll be glad to have them here. We did bring, you know, a picture over. We have your picture, Vic. <laughs> Dennis's sister, Vicki, um, has claimed a picture that was over the fireplace. And um, to be in the will. So we brought it over here. We'll put it up in Aura's room. And uh, because we're soon going to be telling all the family, if there's anything in this house you want besides furniture, the furniture is being, you know, marked down and asked for. But it's a house full of stuff. Take it. If you like it and you can carry it out and it's not furniture, take it. Just take it and then we'll deal with the furniture. But since they could have just carried out. Vicky's picture. We, we decided we better get it. <laughs> I got the hiccups. <coughs> Maybe coughing is a cure for hiccups. <laughs> anyway, so that's what we are doing today. And that will be nice to have some of those things taken care of. I'm so glad to have the car. The car was sort of, you know, on my mental list of things we had to do to just finish Aura's move was to sell that car. And when we didn't do it and we didn't do it, it felt like we haven't started. So now it feels like we've started. And it feels good. But she got a very good price for it. So that felt good too. So there you go. The other thing was I knit it. So here's my unicorn. And I think it's called the happy unicorn. I never bring my thing over here. A unicorn sweater. I don't think I'm going to see Samantha till my birthday. So I have plenty of time. I finished the sleeve. And I started the other sleeve. So the other sleeve is all started and easy peasy. Just have to sit and knit on it. So I can do that. So... Tomorrow, I might finish the knitting on this, and then I just have to sew it. Oh, and then I have that. I have to do the neck band, but that won't take very long. That'll be twisted rib. Loving the twisted rib. Oh, and then I have to embroider. Oh, it's so bright. I have to embroider an eye. Probably some eyelashes too. It's probably going to be a closed eye with eyelashes. Is what it's going to be. That's a f so I'm almost done with that and then I will I think I'm going to do a tiny little black sweater for Layla in pink pink and purple I'll have some of this purple and white so I might do something fancy with you know like stripes or something not too fancy Maybe around the neck and around the sleeves. And around the, oh, around the bottom and around the sleeves. I don't know, whatever. We'll see. Dennis will have his D&D tonight, but it's his remote D&D, so he'll just be in his office. And, uh, yeah, I tried out my... So I... When I couldn't get that bed pillow at Bed Bath & Beyond, I ordered one from L.L. Bean, and it came yesterday, and it worked great. I had also ordered, I had ordered some slippers. I had ordered some slippers, because I'm done. I'm done with my slippers. My, I, this is the second year for the slippers. I added a new, two new layers. Now I'm going through the, you can see I'm going through the layers. Then I went through the toe, going through the heel. I have dog hair on my slippers. They're a little bit like Swiffers. <laughs> but even
even though I'm a knitter and could knit myself some more, I've decided I'm not going to. So I ordered some slippers, which I, when they came, I didn't like them and I'm sending them back. But I'm ordering my favorite slippers from L.L. Bean that cost a fortune that are wonderful and will last me years. I ordered them last night. I'll take these. I'll take the other slippers back. They go um, UPS. We pass the UPS store on the way to physical therapy, which Aura has tomorrow. So I will return them tomorrow. Now you know every little thing in my life. Oh my God, this is crazy. I don't think Aura minds that I tell you everything about her life, but you know, if she did, that would be, what would I talk about? I don't even know. <laughs> So anyway, I thank Jason for his help with the car. He gave us some good advice and it worked out great. And so we were trying to see when we could get together. But it looks like he, he they're busy this coming weekend. We're busy next weekend because uh, Dennis's brother Gary is bringing his whole family over. And so that leaves, you know, my birthday. I'm like, yeah, my birthday's on a Saturday. He's like, hint, hint. <laughs> yeah, hint, hint. So they're going to come in a couple weeks. So what's today? Thursday, two and a half weeks. The sweater will be done. Sam will get a, Sammy, Sammy will get a sweater on my birthday. <laughs> I'm going to text Allison and make sure that Isabel likes her Wednesday vest. It might be too short. She might, she might need a bigger one. I want her to love it. And I wouldn't mind knitting another one. It didn't take that long, did it? <laughs> Apparently, I'm doing intarsia these days. <laughs> anyway. So that's all the news. Grandchildren coming in a couple weeks. And, uh, yeah. And the sweaters will be done. And if we're lucky, wine on the deck today. That'll be so much fun. So I'm wearing short sleeves in anticipation of a lovely, lovely day. With a tank top on so I don't have to wear a bra. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, if summer's coming, I'm going to have to st start wearing a bra sometimes when I go out. I'll figure something out. <laughs> okay, that's enough. I'm done. Please take good care of yourselves. Please, please, please. Oh, look at that sunshine. Please. Stay safe and stay sane. And I might put a little film clip in this somewhere. <laughs> if not, I'll tell you all about it tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> We were having a conversation about very, very hot peppers, and Dennis went to get these to show his mother. So these are Malagata peppers, or peri-peri peppers, really, really hot and spicy. They're like what? One well, they're not probably any hotter than a habanero. It depends on where they're grown and whatever, but they're uh -huh. sort of habanero-ish hot. Okay. So we've had this jar in our cupboard for how long? Uh, a few years. A couple years. We haven't even opened it. You can see the plastic. We're throwing it away because Dennis took it out of the cupboard and he was able to put his finger through the top of the metal lid. So I don't think we're eating those peri peris or <laughs> malagatas or I'm, I wouldn't even want to have eaten them before they ate through the lid, I think. Bird's eye. They? Bird's eye is another name for the pepper. Oh, bird's, bird's eye. eye pepper? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, I wonder if it'll eat through the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not through the